And back to the weather watch in a live look at Lakeshore Drive. Nice little sunshine creating some kind of beautiful shadows. Yes, a good sight out there. And Mary Kay is here now tracking warmer temperatures to add to that on the way. Mm -hmm. But if you jump in, it's only 43 degrees mm. for that water temperature. I am tracking the temperature for the air. It's 48 right now. That's been our high so far. So we're a touch below average. We should be at 53. So it looks like we'll be there tomorrow. And then as we reach into the weekend, we have some warming going on daily Plaza, well, jackets are required as readings have been in the 40s all day. We introduce shower chances tomorrow early in the afternoon. They're kind of on and off through Thursday with a sluggish system. It's not very strong, but it could touch off a few showers. And then we're looking forward to a weekend warm up. Some of the suburbs may flirt with 70 by the time Saturday and Sunday roll around, but I think a lake breeze is going to keep things cool downtown because of that water temperature still so cool this time of year. Right now it's 46 at the lakefront, 49 in Walk. Keegan 47 in Valparaiso. We have found 50 in Joliet and it's 51 in McHenry and 49 degrees in Ottawa. So we have a disturbance pulling across the lake here to lower Michigan. Kind of chilly there with some chilly rain and mixed with some light snow showers. But our attention is turned more toward this system because that's the one that's going to be affecting our forecast. As high pressure moves out, it allows this disturbance to roll through Minneapolis tonight and start edging closer to Chicago. I think our evening is dry and our morning rush will be dry. It looks like by the time we hit 4 a.m. temperatures will start falling into the upper 30s and we will have a partly cloudy sky to start the day for tomorrow. Southwesterly winds will be around. We should see 50 degrees, but right after lunch, early afternoon, look at those rain showers trying to move in. Nothing greatly organized or strong by any means, but it may be around through the afternoon and through the evening rush. Here's five o'clock with light showers moving through both airports and then we start clearing the skies at night. And as far as precip amounts, we're just not impressed with the rain associated with this system. Just very minor amounts. Best coverage would be north along the Wisconsin border and up into Kenosha County. So for tonight, it's just partly cloudy and quiet. 37 will be our low temperature with southwesterly winds. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll push it to 55. So a touch above average with that small chance of a few scattered showers around. So here's the wide view. Eight in the morning, we'll watch that system get a little closer to the Quad Cities, push those showers in in the afternoon and then we start clearing out in the evening but another system right on its tail that brings us the shower chance on Wednesday and then as we look to Omaha we see those showers lining up as a front turned stationary to the south of us so Wednesday night it looks like this batch of rain wants to ride along I-80 in places to the south but those showers could brush us Wednesday night into Thursday it looks like that's our best chance to see some rain around here as temperatures dip into the 40s but then as we go into the weekend we we are looking at high temperatures well into the 60s. That'll feel nice. But if you're going to be running along the lakefront, you're going to get that wind right off the water. So it definitely will be cooler along the lakefront. But Brad and Erica, I think we're moving in the right direction here. Yes, just even see that mm -hmm. on there. It gives nice. us hope. Thank you, Mary Kay. Thumbs up. <laughs>